Hi everyone, welcome back to your channel. I'm here with another tutorial from series of the SQL tutorial. And in this uh, session, I'm going to explain how you can update a table. If you remember previous session, we talked about uh, how you can create a table, uh, primary key and foreign key. So in this tutorial, I'm focusing only on update. Uh, in this regard, I have prepared some slides. First, let's talk about the examples and then we will jump back to uh, PG admin and we will do some practices. Okay. As you observe here, uh, there is an example and the example is that uh, for the update, you have to use the update command and after that, you have to define the uh, the table name and from that table you have to 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 mention uh for the set command and giving the column name for example here it's a last login from the account and the conditions or they want to replace the current time stamp in the last login and if you have some conditions uh you should use uh the where and for example, here mentioned where last login is null and it will take care of the all the null values and replace them as a current timestamp. In the next slide is talking about the, uh, the update without any condition. So it's not mandatory to, uh, drop the condition or using the where. As a condition, you also can do the setting without the condition. And you can also use a set based on another column at that uh, table. For example, we have the update account and I want to replace the value of the last login, same as created on. So it will replace all the values of the last login uh, replaced uh, all the value of the created on in the last login. And also it is possible to use another table value. Uh, so in that case, you have to define the, the table A, the update the table A, and then to set the column from table A equal to table B dot column, which is going to be replaced uh from table b and then also you would need to define the the condition uh and to say that this table a dot id equal table b dot id basically it's for uh the tables which has a relation if you remember we talked about the for you key it's exactly the same scenario and this uh condition should meet this uh, requirement which or conditions which we already defined. This is <clears throat> the point for uh, this command. And the last uh, item which I wanted to explain is about it. If you can, if you want to update, uh, uh, for example, the one table, uh, update the table <clears throat> and using the set command for that column. Also, you can use the returning, <coughs> sorry, use the returning to, uh, to see the, the result of the that update command. For example, you have this update account and set last login equal to created on. And then this returning, you can define the which uh, columns you want to see. And it will show you the, the result of the that update. Okay. So let's jump to the PG admin and do some practices over there to see how it works. Okay. We are in PG admin. The first we have to go, uh, to query part. And, uh, if you remember, we defined the, uh, some tables as a account, account job, and job. So I'm going to 
would first select all from account and let's see which data we have here okay we have user ID username password email created on and last login is null okay So let me just use the update command from account table and then set uh, last login equal to created one. Okay. Here you go. This successfully is done. And then select everything from account. Let's see what. Yes, you can see here. Now this is the created on timestamp. And last login before it was null. And now exactly recorded same as the created on. You can see the timestamp is exactly seen. So this is the update command for uh, this part. So let's uh, go to account in my job. Okay, here we have the user ID, job ID, and higher date. Okay, so I want to use an update command. And from this account job table, and then set uh, the higher underscore date equal to created on from account table so I'm saying that account dot created on I want to set these values from created on into higher date from account and I'm using the ver condition which uh, account job that user ID equal to account that user ID okay because they have the connection so I'm using this uh, command which account under underscore job dot user ID which means this one it should be equal to account that user ID so let the uh, run it and then again let me delete you can also use the query history like this here and if you want to see you can copy and it will copy in the query list and here here you go you can see now the the higher date is replaced the same as the created on this is what uh, well, <clears throat> what we wanted to show it here so let uh, use the the update command again and 
work with the returning part to see how it works. For example, here I want to to set the last login equal to current uh, timestamp, mm -hmm. and then I'm using the returning. Command to tell to the <clears throat> this. Uh, I want to, for example, show the email created on and last login. Yeah, let's see how this command will work. Oops, there is a problem here. Yes because there is a mistake in this column here. Okay, perfect. Then you can see it's already updated all this uh, last login and all, uh, as a current timestamp. And with this returning, I don't need to use select all or selected a specific table to show the result. With this returning, I can see all this information at here. Okay, we are com we are done. We completed this session, and I hope you enjoyed from this tutorial. If you think this tutorial was useful, please don't forget to like button. And if you have any question, uh, drop your question in comment below. Definitely, I will get back to you. Thank you again. And see you next one.